Hey guys, welcome back to part three of our enemy designer series. Last time we looked at how we could um, kill our character when it touched uh, an enemy. And this time we're going to be looking at um, how to deduct health of our character. So let's begin. Right. Um, now, last time you should have already created a health variable or attribute. So uh, I think I have removed that by accident. So I'm going to recreate that player health. And let me just double check here. Player health, that's right. Okay. So uh, you want to create a game attribute called player health. And my player health starting value should not be zero because that would mean he is dead. So let's make the initial value or starting value five. And we're going to add a collision event. And we're going to check when my main player, my Ultra Mega Man, collides with a member of a group. And so I'm going to choose myself, and then I'm going to choose a group. And those are going to be my enemies. So uh, I'm, also, I'm also going to just rename this just so I remember what this is going to do. So I'm going to call this subtract health. And um, the most simplistic part is obviously that you just kill uh, yourself when you touch an enemy. And so if we tested this game out, um, the character would just die as soon as he touches an enemy. Now we want to probably do a little bit more than that. Uh, we want to subtract the health one at a time. And as it turns out, this is a little bit more complicated than it may seem. So right now, uh, I've just reprogrammed my character. If he touches the enemy, he dies, as my code is suggesting. So um, now, one of the most natural things that you will uh, likely think of if you're a programmer already is we're going to have to take set the player health to and we're going to get the current value of it. And we're going to go into math and numbers. And we're going to, sorry, we're not going to add it. We're going to deduct it or reduce it by one. OK, and we're going to throw that into here. So we're going to set the current player health to whatever it used to be, minus one. And if we do that instead of killing the character, uh, we're going to see that it sort of works, but not really. And uh, it, 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 as I said, it, it gets more complicated. Um, so let's just see what happens first, and then we'll look at how we can fix that. Come on, stencil. All right, there we go. Okay, so if I jump on my character, wow, you can see that the health is just deducting uh, nonstop, and that's probably not a very good thing. Uh, as we only want to remove the health once. Okay, so uh, a way to avoid that is um, well, first thing, let's just maybe do this first. Uh, let's do an if, and if the health is below, if the player health is below zero, so less than or equal to zero, if this is less than or equal to zero, oops, not one, zero then we want to kill the player because that means the health is zero and it's time that's it you've made too many mistakes it's time to kill off the character okay so whoops why did that okay that's a zero very good uh but of course as you can see here the health was subtracting really fast because as long as he's colliding or touching the enemy it just keeps subtracting the health so one thing we can do is we can do an action called a push action Okay, and uh, I'm going to use the bottom one here. So we're going to push this actor gently. I'm going to do it sharply towards a specific angle. Now, you will you would have learned in mathematics. Um, let me see if I can maybe pull up a, uh, let's pull up a circle. And so you would have learned in mathematics, uh, let's just try uh, degrees. Oh, sorry, this one has a geometry. Okay, so you would have learned in mathematics that 
uh, you start from zero degrees here, and that's actually just the way it is in stencil. But and then it uh, it rotates uh, this way uh, up to ninety degrees, and then down to one hundred eighty degrees. Now, this is an anti-clockwise rotation, and uh, for whatever reason, the programmer of stencil decided, oh, we're we're, we're going to treat a clockwise rotation uh, as rotating up the angle. So rather than having 90 degrees here, rotating in an anti-clockwise direction, rotating in an anti-clockwise direction, 90 degrees gets flipped down here instead. Okay? So 180 degrees is still over here, 45 degrees is down here now, and uh, so everything's just kind of reversed. If you kind of flip this whole thing around, that's what we're dealing with. So I'm going to try to shoot my character up, and that's actually going to be 270 degrees instead. And so I'm going to shoot my character up to 270 degrees, and I'm just going to push it really fast with 100 units, uh, 100 newtons of force. So let's test this out and see where that takes our game. Let's close that off. Come on, stencil, warp your magic. All right, there we go, it's reloaded. Okay, so let's go touch our character. Good, okay, so uh, if you notice, I'm, uh, the health actually deducted by two this time instead of infinitely because my character is moving away from it. So uh, because we're pushing the character away, and that's good, we see that our character, uh, the health is zero and the character is dying. So uh, the problem though is that uh, what's happening, if I carefully move my character in, you can see that the health is deducting by one. Oops, okay, so that was a rather fast touch, okay? So if, if you try to like jump forcefully into the character, it's gonna be uh, a lot of health because uh, it's actually colliding with the character for a longer period of time, even though we're pushing him out. So um, it's not actually pushing him out fast enough, but that's not really the right way to solve this. So in order to uh, fix this problem up, in order for the health to decrease one at a time, we're going to have to make use of one more variable, which does something uh, like what I'm explaining here. So we're going to create a variable called subtract health, and we're going to start with a value of zero. And when the value is zero, it means that uh, we're clear to detect, deduct the health of our player. When we change the value to one, we're initiating a health deduction sequence. Okay, so you, uh, that just means you can deduct the health by one, by two, or whatever you like. Uh, and then as soon as we deduct the health, we're going to set, set this value to 2. And what this is going to do is this is going to prevent deduction of health. And then after a time delay, which we're going to set, we're going to put this variable back to zero, which means, again, we're clear to deduct the health of our player. So let's look at how we're going to do that. So we're going to add an updating event. We're going to create a game attribute, and it's going to be called subtract health, so I'm going to get lazy and copy and paste that, and it's going to be a value of zero. And so we're going to say if, and we're going to do this a lot, let's see here, oh it didn't have, doesn't have, so uh, I'm going to have to close this. Sometimes, again, uh, I've explained some previous tutorials, uh, if it has a bug, we got to close this down and reopen it, and the variable should show up. Or the game attribute should show up. So this is uh, uh, this is actually a touching enemy event. This is actually our deducting health event. And so what we're going to do is we're going to check uh, if this value which is our subtract health value. If this is one, then we're gonna deduct the health of our enemy. And uh, let's see here, I'm gonna grab this. Actually, I'm gonna grab both of these. And I'm gonna move that over here. Okay, now, um, I'm gonna continue this on in, in uh, part two of this tutorial. So I'm gonna stop here for now, and then I'm gonna continue the coding uh, in the next tutorial.